Lake Michigan's waves came hard and fast Thursday, but nothing compared to January. By Saturday morning, the flooding had begun. In a board meeting Thursday, Port Director Adam Schlicht briefed commissioners on last month's flooding. He says within hours, water filled up 60 to 70 percent of Jones Island and it made its way into facilities. We know already that our damage is at least $1.4 million. Uh, we think that will increase as spring arrives and we have a better look at um, some of the assets that are currently under snow and ice. He says weather and the lake's water levels are to blame. The Army Corps of Engineers says Lake Michigan was at its highest it has ever been in the month of January, and that's forcing Port Milwaukee to adjust. The port will use insurance, state and federal money to cover the damage costs, but they are also discussing building more wave walls and using more flood resistant technology because this problem is not going away. Make sure that um, port investments like our brand new $31 million export facility uh, remain viable, remain available um, in an age where because of climate change, you know, Lake Michigan water levels can fluctuate dramatically at the drop of a dime. In Milwaukee, Hannah Hilliard, WISN 12 News.